Hey, what's up guys? Bob here. Welcome to another little, uh, well, I guess more casual thing as like I did with Blue Vegeta. Um, this isn't really a scripted thing per se. This is like a guide. Nothing. You're, you're probably not going to glean too much of useful information out of this, but I have a history with this character, so I feel like I may as well go ahead and share this with you guys since uh, he is still fairly fun despite the degeneracy of this and a few other things. So, Vegito. Uh, he was the first main character I put some serious work into. I said that before that the first character I picked up in this game was um, Blue Vegeta, but I didn't really put real time into him. Vegito, I did put some time into. I, I ran a team back in like summer 2018. Yeah, that was it. Uh, with him. Goku Black is mid, I'm pretty sure. No, it was Hit that was mid, right. And then Cell Anchor. That was a mistake and a half, but. I was super new at the game, I'm still not really great at 2D fighting games, but you know, it's it's whatever. So uh, I figured I wanted, then I moved on from him to Cooler when Cooler came out, because I want a character with neutral, and not even like a month or two after I picked up Cooler, Vegito gets hit with the first big nerf, the meter, the meter gain's gone. That's kind of ridiculous, like I, I, I'm still not sure if it was a good idea to actually take away uh, Vegito's meter gain, because it was really good. Is one of the best things he had going for him, like, in every respect. But in hindsight, maybe was a little degenerate because, like, uh, like, for example, uh, Gotenks has similar, uh, meter build these days. Like, obviously, I'll have the, the, uh, combo structure frame down, but even that built almost a bar and a half, which is more than average because of the light hits and, uh, I think Ford is special in the air, also does shit. You know, it's a damn shame, too, because even though the meter gain was kind of nuts, because remember, back then, this would build, like, half a fucking bar. Like, every hit of the Spirit Sword would build you, like, straight up, like, a bar and a half. Like, it was, or just, like, straight up, like, half a bar. It was crazy. Or not every hit, but every hit built, like, a full bar, down, like, a full segment, which was insane, and probably a little too strong in hindsight, given what we think of meter gain today, but damn if it wasn't a fun identity. Because these days, like, Vegito's a very specialized character, like, he's lost a lot of what made him kind of nuts because a lot of other characters do what he does but better. Between insane buttons, button reach, uh, somewhat sporadic neutral, not, like not horrible but not amazing either. But I wanted to recap some things because since I dropped him, he has gotten a lot of shit, so, you know, go figure. Also, I did, like, two guides for him before, so, good follow-up, I guess, you know. From the perspective of an older, wiser man, why the hell not, right? So one of the big things that people did actually discover about Vegito shortly after I dropped him, uh, some of the higher higher play, ranked players were already doing it, was uh, Tick Throw Setup. Utilizing the fact that, you know, the last hit of all combo is a command grab. Now, I don't have an assist on me right now that can do this. Also, I don't run assists that run Tick Grab setups because I'm bad. So, no thank you. But essentially, the, the idea is that um, you set your opponent to guard, and obviously since, you know, the last hit is a command grab, if your opponent is in block stun from the prior hits, the command grab is not going to work, period. Because, you know, you're in block stun, you can't evade a grab if you're in block stun, you can't escape. So it's, that'd be very unfair. It's probably a fighting game where you can negate this, but anyway. So, like, essentially the idea is to turn this into a true mix-up, utilizing uh, just the last hit uh, to negate the block stun of the prior hits. Uh, Trunk say can do this. Um... There's probably at least a couple others. I've noticed that uh, Broly, his A assist has pretty low block stun, so you could probably get away with that. But Trunks A is like the big one, I, I feel. Um, if he was on his team, I could probably showcase it if I practiced, but it's definitely there. And again, you could also time this a little bit off of his level 3. I might be able to time this, actually. Hang on. Okay, so essentially the idea here is that your opponent's putting a into a hard knockdown state, right? This is kind of a gimmicky thing, but it's not terrible. The idea is you time your your meaty so that way uh, you can mix up between the um, the command grab at the end of your odd combo and a regular strike. Like if I were a little bit faster, I could probably make this work. I don't think it's ever got nerfed. Like that was a strike. If I go a little bit faster, I could probably get the uh, grab to land. Yeah, like if you just straight up mash it, you're gonna get the uh, command grab. If you're a little bit more paced, you could probably 
get the uh, strike. Yeah, I mean, I already did before, so. It's definitely a little bit more gimmicky. I don't know if this is, like, really utilized today, but it's something. I'll delay a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So, like, you can mix up the, uh, the reason this is a mix-up is because, like, uh, escaping the command grab is, like, a neutral jump or something like that, right? Whereas if you get hit, you're gonna get smacked back down to the ground because jumping, you have frames where you cannot block, obviously. So, it's a neat little gimmick th gimmicky thing. I don't know if it's worth the meter dump for something that Broly can do on the regular for free. So, you know, details. Uh, one cool thing that he did get eventually, and originally you can only do this off of sparking, is that now he can jump cancel 2H. Uh, obviously if you're a modern Vegeo player, this is nothing new. I'm just speaking at, from the perspective of someone who dropped him late 2018, before all the nerfs hit. Uh, yeah, and before all the buffs hit too. We'll talk about the buffs later, but for the time being, yeah, he's got some pretty good shit. So for example, if I were to do this. Yeah, look at that. You can just straight up do this now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think the 2H gives you a bit more damage than usual uh, for a command, a uh, combo extension. Also, you can do this. I, I mean, I found it to be kind of funny. I don't remember the jump 2H going this far. And maybe it's always been able to do that. I don't remember offhand. Actually, something I did put down my notes that I didn't write, but I kind of just remember this. Um, so one thing Vegito's always had a problem with is being able to do a same side combo meteorlessly and originally he could do this with go tanks but go tanks as aces is rough at time with the long startup frames like if i were to uh do it with him that takes a while to come out i attack startups has 47 frames that's not you know it's, it's no blue vegeta a 75 god damn but it's definitely not comfortable either you know what i mean but then with janemba um I think originally he only got two key blasts off of his A assist. But he could do this now. So, you know, same side sliding knockdown. No meter required and can do this pretty much anywhere. In fact, this combo is insane because it goes pretty much coast to coast. Like, look at this. Full screen. Like, literally coast to coast. Like, the other Vegito is now in the corner. That's kind of nuts. Um, obviously, you could probably extend this further if you actually use Vanish, so that's really cool. But, I mean, for the time being, like, this is... Even though I literally just made this combo up, and I don't see any Vegito players outside of France, because France is where all the good Vegito players lie, I guess. Wawa and shit like that. But, yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, so this is going to be a fun bit. First of all, no, I don't know, I don't know how to use Nimba, but I do know how to use Vegito uh, on back there, so... Over the years, like, actually, his assists have gotten really fucking good. It started with getting his B assist currently. Um, we go ahead and set him to having that really fast. So, first of all, the hit's done is not that bad. 73 frames plus with tech roll, it's pretty good. Like, actually, that's not too bad. Not that slow either. 36 frames, 35 frames, you can work with that. That's not too bad. Now, where it gets actually pretty nuts is if he guards it. 46 plus frames. That's like literally one frame shy, I think, of Bardock B. And Bardock B is pretty renowned for uh, being nuts. Like, this is pretty fucking sizable, actually. Uh, Super Saiyan Goku has something similar with his B assist, where it's like the uh, live version of his Tatsus, so it's really good. Um, but just, yeah, so Vegito already brings a lockdown assist. Already off to a good start, aren't we? And now we get the sc scatter finger beam, the A assist. Now, if you remember the A assist, uh, it's always just been this, the spiral, heal, the spiral, it's called for spiral, heal, split finger shot, uh, scatter finger beam, banshee blast. It's had various names throughout the years, but essentially this assist has never really been good, but, or rather this move itself has never really like been fantastic, but France is loving this move because of its ability to quote unquote win, win scramble. And I mean, considering how fast it is by itself, like, it is a key blast, granted, but you do slow enough to the ground, you're gonna catch a lot of people's, people doing shit, and it's super easy to hit confirm, too. Look, it, oh, it could be a little bit easier, but you catch my drift. This is really nice. And it can just kind of combo into whatever, so that's really dope. That's not too bad, actually. Now, for the assist, our, you know what, first of all, let me remind you guys what this hit stun looks like. 
there's not a lot of hits done. It's whatever. I've seen people uh, do like uh, you can do dumb shit with the Tiger Knee version of this. It's nothing extraordinary you'd want to use, but it is there. But the assist, I don't remember when the hell this got buffed. I think during season three at some point. But look at the hits done. 71 frames of advantage plus tech rule. Oh my god, that's like how long I can wait for super dashing. I could have got I could take a shit come back and had enough time to hit her from that. God, that is nuts. God, okay. Um, I'm not sure when this got this buff, but it's really goddamn sizable. Like this, this is one of the reasons why people actually love running Vegito on mid right now because its ability to just his scatter his scatter finger beam is so strong at just sniping people and getting all that advantage. Like you can do this. Not that hard, really. Like, catches them doing anything. It's lightning fast. How much is it? 29 frames start, which is fast for an assist, actually. Like, usually the average is like 30 for the beams, but this is nice. Like, Jesus Christ. And of course, the good assists don't even stop there because Spirit Sword is one of the few assists in the uh, few C assists in the game that can track vertically. If you don't know what that means, it means it can do this. Really nice. Um, reason this is especially good is because you can get some heavy combo extensions. Let me see if I can do this really fast. What is going on here? Forty-seven. It's not too shabby. Like that's without super even. So I mean, it's, it's definitely got that level of flexibility for sure. And it's not that slow either. Like this is a pretty oppressive move. I've seen this synergize so well with a lot of people in the game. Like. Zamasu loves this for Blaze of Judgment combos. Um, I know Piccolo loves this for Hellzone Grenade Loops. It doesn't give you a lot of plus advantage to like... 100 frames to kind of just smack him. That's really good. So yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why people are loving running Vegito uh, on mid right now. It's goddamn nuts. Um, mid or Anchor, he, I think there's definitely more of a case to be made for him run Anchor these days. Even though his mix isn't great. He runs the neutral actually pretty well these days. I mean, you can run tick throw uh, setups with the level three, I guess, but you know, whatever. Uh, outside of that, there's not really much else to go over. And n although a funny thing is that when Video Video first came out, he was actually considered to be pretty bad because, like, his neutral wasn't great because he didn't have a beam. At least it wasn't considered great. He had l large lunging limbs. Was that wasn't really considered amazing. But like, over the years, of course, people have learned this is amazing online to just challenge like literally anything. Same as the fact that it's one frame slower than the usual uh, jab, it's really solid. So I mean, yeah, people have found in retrospect like the strength of where Vegito really excels at, which is kind of, you know, fast fast paced scrambles where you don't necessarily need a, uh, a beam to win, but it's still kind of good. I mean, yeah, fucking real, pretty solid. But yeah, that's just good about cover it. I don't think there's been... He's definitely always gone like a laundry list of buffs uh, every once in a while. Like, various damage increases, various um, prey advantage uh, changes. Nothing too, really too incredibly nuts, though. But, like, honestly, even with just release of Janemba, like, I feel like Vegito immediately got a lot better. Um, especially because of, you know, the meterless combo extensions. I mean, originally, I think this only shot out the two key blasts at the start. It was at the point that like a lot of people were saying that it was kind of crap, you know, hooking God, coming out and saying Janemba is shit because of this. I was like, dude, come on, really? But yeah, that's just gonna uh, uh, go ahead and cover it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Vegito is really good right now. If you want to run him, you can run him point. I think there's more merit to running him mid, especially for you know, uh, light spiral heal shot. But you can be flexible with them. But uh, yeah, later.